Okay, hey, welcome. Carl Horner here and uh, Nick Raber, and uh, we are here to look at this uh, passage for Sunday. And um, uh, Nick, are you with me here, buddy? So I want to ask you a question, Nick. Uh, have you ever been so, are you, Nick, are you there? Are you there? Oh, you... I was just doing the maze here. He's doing the maze on the box? No, 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 no. Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I know, but we're we're rolling. We got the camera going here. Okay. I'm going to set this in front of you. I They can barely see me now. Okay, now it's a little bit better. I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't intentional. <laughs> but, okay, you were asking a question. Well, I was just going to ask a question. Have you ever been so angry and in an argument that you forgot what you were arguing about. Have you, has that ever happened to you? I'm sure it has. Um, I'm sure it happened with my twin brother. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, now many of our arguments ended up in wrestling matches, as brothers do. Um, but I'm sure there was plenty of them that ended up. We had no idea why we were fighting. We just knew that we, okay. we were fighting, and <laughs> you had to win them when so okay. yeah what about, what about you yeah no i mean I, I i can actually remember a few cases uh uh with stephanie yeah. i'm having an argument we won't tell her that no 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 she, she she won't watch the yeah. video surely right <laughs> yeah and uh no this hasn't happened for a while but i can remember early on in our marriage that we'd be arguing about something and i'd just get so mad that after a while i'd like I can't even remember what we're arguing about, and I don't think she could either. And we're just, and then that just makes me all the more mad. It's like this is ridiculous. Okay. Oh. Well, the passage for today, Second uh, Timothy chapter two, we're looking at verses fourteen through twenty-six. Uh, Paul is talking a lot about words here. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's there's words. Some of the language he has here is, uh, you've got quarreling, you've got irreverent babble. That that's always a good one for me. Uh, foolish, ignorant controversies, quarrelsome. Okay, so words can really be destructive, mm -hmm. um, and emotions can really get all tangled up in there. And uh, so I, I think, I think you know when I when I look at that and and I look at my own life, and you realize, oh yeah, uh, that's something that really needs to be uh, looked at. Uh, so. Uh, we're looking at uh, real versus fake. So explain why we have these two boxes of cereal yeah, in front of yeah. us. Yeah, so we're looking at the uh, Kellogg's brand of Fruit Loops here. And I'll be honest, today's the first day that I noticed fruit was spelled with two O's. <laughs> okay. Not normal yeah, Fruit okay. Loops. Um, so we got normal Fruit Loops made with natural fruit flavors. Uh, and then we have the fruit fruit spins which and that is fruit is actually spelled with fruit that is the right way that it's spelled with fruit um and this is the great value walmart brand so we've got our uh you know our, our name brand and kind of our our off brand here um so we've got little cups here uh we're just you know we're not trying to have a full breakfast just trying yeah, to have a couple no. meals okay. uh and then we've got our milk here so um i haven't put the milk in yet because we that's don't good. want it to yeah, be yeah, soggy that's good. okay um, all right i all do right. know some people and they know who they are that like <laughs> soggy milk um i've heard of people like soggy that. cereal and it's I, just I, I know of somebody they would put milk on their cereal the night before put it in the fridge i'm not kidding oh my put goodness. it in the fridge some of you are related to that person out there, I, and so you I know what I'm talking about. And in the morning, they would they would they would eat that. I've also heard of this person taking it for lunch, like they would what? take take the, your little Tupperware container, put cereal, milk in, close it up, take it to lunch, and then eat it at, at Is lunch. Is it even like <laughs> together by that point? Like oh. I feel like it would have disintegrated. I don't know. Well, if okay. it's if it's a flake cereal, that, that could be bad. Okay. All right, uh, Carl, I'm gonna let you go first on this one. Okay. So right. okay. there's your spoon. Okay, eyes uh, eyes are shut. And. Once I once I give you two of these, I'll set them to the side, and then there's just gonna be two left, so you can okay. so you can pick. So uh, let's go here first. Okay, now I'm supposed to keep okay. my eyes shut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There we go. All well, right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I was just just. You checking. can't eat cereal with your <laughs> eyes open. Oh, that's true. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you had nothing, <laughs> nothing on that spoonful. <laughs> okay. You got it. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna make a guess right now that I, I don't tell me right. 
Go ahead and put the other one right. That, that's got to be Fruit Loops. I mean, I haven't had these in years, but that had to be the real Fruit Loops. All right, here we go. <laughs> you spilled them in your lap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take it from you. Okay. Okay. I, I would still hold to the the first one was the Fruit Loops and the second one was not. Incorrect. Oh, no, I had it wrong. Incorrect. The, These puppies are good. The first okay. one was the legendary Fruit Spins. Wow. The second one was the Fruit Loops. Okay. So. All right. All right. Hit me. All right. Hang on now. I got to figure out which one. I don't remember not get them all confused either. So, okay. Try this one first. And it's going to be hard not to look at it. Yeah, well, laugh at me. I didn't get any milk with that one. Okay. Okay. Okay, here's this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so which one is which? First one was real. Yes, it was. Second one was fake. Yes, okay, okay. The wow. interesting... These got soggy faster than uh, these. This was the the fruit spins were soggier than the Fruit Loops. Okay. Which okay. Even just after. So so did you like one better than the other? I mean, you could tell the difference, but did I you? I could like tell one a little better? bit. I think I like the Fruit Loops better. They seem to be a little sweeter. See, I actually like this better, and I think that probably says something about my upbringing. <laughs> We were pretty frugal. I mean, this didn't exist uh, 45 years yeah. ago, I'm sure, or 50 years ago. But uh, yeah. yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, looking at this passage here, and it's talking a lot about uh, these quarrelsome, the words that, you know, mm -hmm. coming out of our mouth and, and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know. Any thoughts you're having on... on uh, words and controversies and yeah. quarrels and i mean it just it it first off reminds me just the power that words have um both as we're having conversations with people as far as something you say can trigger somebody else and you might not even know it or can offend somebody else and you might not even know it and um so i think you know there's a part here that talks about uh doing honorable things and dishonorable things and just being really careful that all the words that we speak are honorable to the person that we're speaking to or the person that we're speaking of. Um, so yeah, just the power of words. Sure. Okay. No, and, and that's good. And when you brought up the honorable, dishonorable, um, as Paul's talking to Timothy, what, what hits me on that, um, all, all the things we do, we have that choice. It could be, I can, I can use all I have for honorable, which is going to further God's kingdom, I can also use what I have for dishonorable that's going to not further God's kingdom. Um, and then and then right after he gets to talk about honorable, dishonorable, you know, he says, therefore, you know, you know, if anyone cleanses himself, you know, he wants Timothy to cleanse himself of the dishonorable and then only do the honorable. And then he's got, so flee youthful passions. So uh, Timothy would have been younger, obviously, than, mm -hmm. than Paul. So that's got to be part of the dishonorable. Just flee those. Mm -hmm. And then he names some of the things that would be honorable. Pursue right. righteousness, mm -hmm. faith, love, and peace, mm -hmm. along with those who call on the Lord with the, from a pure heart. Yeah. Uh, then again, nothing have nothing to do with, so name some other uh, dishonorable things, foolish, ignorant, yeah. uh, controversies. You know that they breed yeah. quarrels, you know. Um, so it's interesting. I think there's, there's two actions that are happening. You have to flee... And then you have to pursue. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's not enough definitely. just to just to flee uh, the you know the bad things. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. to be pursuing the righteousness. We have to be pursuing God at the same time. We can't just do one or the other. No, and and, that, and that's good because I think just fleeing doesn't mean you're going toward the right thing. So you could flee yeah. this and then flee that and flee. Yeah. But it's when you're pursuing, you're going. I'm going to launch mm -hmm. myself toward the kingdom of God, and mm -hmm. I'm going to further His kingdom. I'm going to—he's going to be my pilot, you know. And here we go, you know. And and that makes a lot, a lot yeah. of sense. Uh, he's even got here, uh, and the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach, 
patiently enduring evil, <laughs> correcting his opponents with gentle. I mean, there's all these things about how you're supposed to interact with mm -hmm. the world, and it's always staying honorable, uh, mm -hmm. not being condemning. You know, he uses words like being kind and gentle and patient. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Um, it's interesting. This is all part of the, the real versus fake. I mean, you know, yeah. the real is things that further God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. And so he's talking about honorable and, and that kind of stuff. And the things that breed quarrels and controversies and irreverent babble, you know, it's yeah. uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Good stuff. What's gangrene? Gangrene. That stuff that, like, if you get a cut and it gets infected yeah. and then it festers up, and pretty soon you, you could have to lose, lose your, your limb or whatever, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Doesn't sound fun. So, we got gangrene in there, too. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Awesome. Appreciate you uh, joining in with us uh, as we tested out some cereal here. Talked about the next passage, 2 Timothy 2 14 through 26. Uh, we hope to see you Sunday where Carl is going to be talking about this uh, a little yeah. bit further and a little bit more in depth. And, and I'm going to investigate to find out if he switched the boxes or switched the inside. I'm going to find out whether he pulled a trick on me yeah. or I really yeah. do love the uh, this kind better. I mean, I think I think that's just probably what it is. So uh, we hope to hear from you uh, in between, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> see ya. So, do we have somewhat of a game plan? Is there any reason that that's closer to your face than mine? I mean, what, I have a louder voice or I mean, what? You do have a louder voice, but... I know, but look, it's pointed that way. What? You see that? It's, it's like, pointed that way. No, I mean, hardly. There! That's oh. better! <laughs> Come on! This is, this is the line. Did you measure it? <laughs> look at that. Closer to your side, it's clearly pointed your direction. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I could just on the corner right. I think he's doing that. <laughs>